Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Space Quest 3, The Pirates of Pestalon, where we are going to be trying out a couple of things. I've got a couple of ideas that I've gathered watching back the previous two episodes, and some of you guys have left ideas as well in the comments below. So let's start by going over here and doing what James Howard said, and uh, trying to move this piece of um, metal here. So I believe move might be a better way of doing this, so move metal. There are matters more pressing than debris relocation at this juncture in time. Uh, so I wonder... Lift? Metal? No, okay. Um, pull metal? It seems like we should be able to do this from what some of you guys have said as well as James, but it's, it's not seeming to let me do it. So maybe I'm just putting in the wrong command. Um, I honestly don't know. Uh, we've also picked up some items. We've got uh, the glowing gem, the wire, and the reactor now. So we uh, we need to have a look around. The other thing I wanted to do um, was try to use the claw thing again because I'm absolutely convinced that that claw thing is going to come in handy for us. I'm not sure what for, but I'm I'm pretty certain that we're going to need it for something. So let's um, let's go up here. We'll ride this thing round again and go back round to the left and try to get back on the claw machine transport thing. Come on. Right. Stand. Oops. Stand up. Jump. Okay. So we're back up here. There we go. Well done, Roger. You did it. Right. Let's head all the way over to the left then. And we'll go. Uh, did we try looking around here? I think we did, didn't we? You're standing on a narrow rail suspended high above the floor of the freighter. A conveyor system below leads to the right grinder. Be careful, it's a long way down. Okay, so that's fine. We, we knew that. So let's go all the way back over to the um, area over here on the left. Did, did, did we look around here as well? I've forgotten. Uh, there are two passages to the west. It's a long way down to the junk piles below. Okay, so I'm absolutely convinced that we need to use this claw thing to grab something it doesn't make sense that it would go all the way around otherwise to me anyway um so let's save here and we'll call it um uh claw room two and then we'll did we did we climb down i think we climbed down didn't we climb down yeah there we go so we're getting this thing right there's there's got to be do we do use claw uh, lower claw but it's programmed not to work in this area right so there's got to be an area then where it will work so let's try riding this thing round and then from there we'll try using it at various points so can we lower the claw here we can okay so we can lower the claw from this position ah right so it's Finding nothing here to carry, the claw begins the ascent to the grabber unit. Right, so we're obviously... Right, so I think I am on the right track here. We've got to grab something with this. The question is what? Oh my god, it's very slow, isn't it, the claw? Maybe we need to speed up the... Uh... Go on to the faster setting. Lower claw. I mean, that's not really much faster, to be honest. Why do we have to do control S? Oh, that's... Huh. That seems to have just lowered to the exact same part. Oh no, it's definitely quicker. Uh, that, yeah. It is quicker, but it's still pretty slow, isn't it? So, that lowered to like exactly the same place, strangely. Right, so let's see where this lowers the claw. Okay, so that's lowered it over to there. Can we get that? Oh, we can. The claw senses contact with the warp motivator, grasps it firmly and begins the ascent back to the grabber. What the hell is that thing? We got a bunch of score for that, though. 15 score. Uh, is it still in there? Look, was it warp? 
motivator get warp motivator leave it alone it has no human interface capability what the hell do we use that for then what what happens if we lower the claw again oh so it goes back Since the floor, the claw releases its cargo and begins the... Now we've lost score. What? So we can put it back down then. So do we have to maybe put it down somewhere specific? So yeah, so we've picked it back up. That gives us our score again. Uh, huh, okay. Well, in that case, let's um, save and call it warp thing, because I'm sure it said warp motivator, but... So the question is, where do we put this thing? Um, let's see what happens if we lower it down. Okay, so we can't... We can't use the claw on this screen, it seems. Can we... Yeah, we can do it here. Ah, this is the screen with the robot head. Hmm. Okay, so unless we have to put it on the robot head or something. Maybe if we ride this rail round, we'll go above the robot head. Maybe we need to sort of like lower it on top of the robot head. Possibly. I don't know. This is interesting, actually. This is quite a complex puzzle. The, the puzzles are definitely tougher, I think, in this than in the previous Space Quest games. It's, it feels more open as well. There's less... Sensing an adequate surface, the claw releases its cargo and begins the ascent to the grabber unit. The object thuds into place within the cavity of the ship. Where is this? How do we get there? Where the hell is that area? Uh, okay. Warp placed? So th there's another area we've not been to then. Is that... Alright, fine. So I, I wondered if we could get this. I, d I don't think we can, can we? No, because of the pipes. Okay, so that's interesting. So that gives us... Hmm... I'm pretty sure we've not been to whatever that area is. We just lowered that too. I mean, it looks like that was what we were supposed to do. Um, but... So, can we... Let's go back down here. That's it. Right, we're fine. Also, you guys were saying that um, they were like rats and things looking down at us from above. I thought they were wolves, but they're not. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I was being silly. Apparently, they're rats and it's like a perspective thing. So... There we go. Oh, we're walking much faster now. So it's definitely increased the game speed. So... Is there a way through here then? I'm guessing it's here. No. So there's not... There's not a way through... There's not a way through. No, there's no way... Th so how the hell do we get to that area we were just in? Or just above, I should say. Because it's sort of to the right of this, isn't it? Huh. That is very weird. Was, was all that orange stuff all over that Jupiter ship like that before? I don't really recall that being a thing, but whatever. Um, so we moved something from here. We moved it through here. Unless there's a way of going like behind this. Maybe we use the mouse again. Let's try using the mouse and doing it point and click style. Maybe that will help. Although now I don't seem to be able to... Oh, I see. We're on the wrong side of the pipe. 
Right, so let's... Let's try going through here again. Oh, oh God, what was that? What is going on? Why have we lost the score? You seem to have been mugged by some type of large rat. As you pick loose fur from your teeth, you notice a less bulky feeling. Oh, was it... What else did we have? Oh, it's nicked all of our stuff. Where did it go? Uh... Okay. Rat mugging. <laughs> so... Ah, yeah, Daredevil also mentioned, can we climb here? Climb robot head. Unable to scale anything here, okay. So maybe there's just a way of going behind this thing. Maybe there's a way of going... What? So there's an area that we don't seem to be able to get to then. Where the hell did that rat go? That's really annoying. What's this blue stuff as well down here? Look around. The guide carcass of the tanker opens to reveal even more junk. A little head rests nearby. What? Oh gosh, you stepped off a metallic escarpment and tumbled into the darkness. Twisted, jagged remnants of old vehicles reach out to show your dark descent, cutting short your life in the process. I think that's our first death in this episode, actually, isn't it? Hmm, okay, so th there's... There's got to be a way of getting... Of getting round to, to that new area. But I cannot for the life of me find it. Um, I mean, it's it's to the right of here, isn't it? Almost. Huh. Interesting. So anyway, we, we placed that warp thing on some sort of, I don't know, ship? Like broken down ship? But I have no idea how to get to it. <laughs> and also... What did we have on us? Before the rat rudely mugs us. What did we actually have in our invent? I've forgotten. It didn't take the glowing gem. Can we go around this way? Didn't even try going down here. Oh, maybe we can. Can we... Can we, like, go off this way? Is, is this a... Is this a way? I don't think it's a way. Doesn't look like it's a way. Okay. Can we climb up this thing? Climb up? Unable to scale anything here. Hmm. How mysterious. So. So we can go. Unless the rats are back down here. Climb down. Not from here. Climb down? Where is the actual ladder? Climb down ladder. There we go. So... Oh! Still carrying the piece of Orium you picked up on Labion during your last adventure, however, it's long since lost its glow. Ah! So it doesn't actually glow anymore. But... I think I've realised what's happened. The rats have come down here and plugged the generator back in. That's what they took, the generator. So they took it away from us and put it down there, weirdly. Okay. Um, fair enough, rats. So there's got to be a way through to this area on the right. It's, I'm not sure what it would be, honestly. It's not through here. Can we... No. Unless it's something to do with this. What's this arm thing? Somewhere there's an oversized android missing a limb. Okay. Can we, can we like, climb the arm? No. Okay. So we can't do that. Look around. 
Overwhelmed by the variety of space trash laying around, sorry, on every corner, a large bucket conveyor carries shredded ships to a horizontal conveyor box. So it's sort of, it's to the right of this area that we need to get to. The question is, how on earth do we get in there? It is a big mystery. But you know what, guys? I'm going to leave it there. Um, we're going to have to really think about this. There's got to be a way for getting through there, hasn't there? Maybe we've got to use the claw machine to, like, lower ourselves or something. Or maybe we can fall down one of those other holes rather than just the centre hole where the big droid thing is. I don't know. Anyway, a big thank you to my patrons, as always, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, and Paul from the Phantom Fellows for all the support. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you all next time.